Now, the story has made, um, been made into a drama called Three Girls, watched by millions of all of us and described as the most horrific but necessary drama of all time. And uh, Lisa, you have a huge part to play in that drama. And I watched it again last night, like I'm sure many of you have done. And even on social media, everyone's talking about it. It's so difficult to watch, but so necessary at the same time. And I can only imagine what it must have been like to, to play the, the mother of two of these girls. Absolutely. It's when I, when I hear you, like, when you said all that just then, you know, and to play the part of Lorna, you know, and to hear the reaction that's going on now, um, we knew it would have a reaction. It's important that we got that reaction. That's the main thing. And, yeah, of course, we had three and a half months last from last August filming it, and it cocooned my life, and I got angry, and I got more angry. And it's important that the BBC took a chance, you know, because it could have gone one of two ways, you know, it could have. And the story was so true, and obviously we'll meet Maggie later, and, and she, the reason I love Maggie so much is because the truth she tells over and over again. And... Yeah, I'm so honoured to have been able to play the part of Lorna and to give these girls a voice because mm -hmm. no one believed them, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Yeah. No one. And the evidence was there over and over again, the evidence that was being presented. And I remember the day when, obviously, we, we met with the director, the phenomenal team, and they, they were so supportive. And when you read the script and every word is true, and as an actor, and you'll know this, mm -hmm. Nad, you know, you're playing a part, but this is the truth. And you, you feel yourself going, that can't possibly have happened. Yeah. That can't... Well, we fell you know? watching it. And you yeah, had yeah. that, and we spoke yeah. this morning, didn't we, girls? Well, and that's what built up. It's, it's that thing. Why weren't they believed? Why? Why were they judged as a certain type? Of girl, and that you know? was the, the one of the reasons, really, that Fully. came out in investigations afterwards, yeah. wasn't it? That yeah. it was just they were classed as, what, what are they talking about? Yeah. They don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, and for everyone that saw saw the series, the past the, the past two nights, and obviously again tonight, but you know that they were plied with vodka. You know, they left the school. You, you know, you've got your kids. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? That they they leave the school gates at half past three, and the first thing that happens to them is the fact they're given a neat bottle of vodka, mm -hmm. and. We can't go there in our brain. We can't, you know? And, and, and that, I mean, I think we all feel, we all say oh, this one feels slightly nauseous having watched it last mm. night and to think that, that humanity can be that depraved. Yeah. But what, what I'm fascinated in for you as an actress, I mean, we can all, we've all got to the end of that show and we'll sort of, over the next few days, it will fade away, unfortunately, because yeah. that's the way it is. But if you've actually lived that story, yeah. how, 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 how are you feeling? Uh, well, I, I have to go back to last August and September when I was there with the real life me. You know, yeah. the, 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 and you and you met the oh, girls. Yes. And you know them all, don't you? I know? still now, yeah, yeah and and, and, all, yeah. and the real life me to get that recognition to say that you know we've done her story proud and getting the justice out there is is, is wonderful that I was able to portray that. You know, <laughs> it's not about me; it's about the girls. Yeah. It's about the girls, and and I think. Seeing their you response, you must be haunted by yeah. it. That's mm. that's it and is. Maggie. I mean, yeah. how do you how do you t continue on with? Because obviously, you know a whole lot more even that was that was put in the drama. Some of the stuff you've told us today yeah. left us all reeling. Really, some of the. I think you have a mechanism, and, and Maggie was brilliant because I had I was so lucky because obviously we do a twelve hour shoot day um, and doing the scenes, but I would have Maggie to lean on and go. How do I cope? Why am I feeling this? Why am I feeling so angry? And the hardest ever that I've ever had to feel as an actress was um, if you saw last night's episode where my youngest daughter had to go and have an abortion mm. to provide the evidence, the fetus, that then would get the men finally arrested, mm. thank God. But the real-life me and the real-life Liv's character um, was, was there behind the monitor. And we were just sat there as actors going, no, we can't get upset, we can't get angry. Do you know why? Because by portraying this scene and acting it to the best of our ability will help thousands. And what I've heard over and over again, like literally from the show and before the show, is the fact that we've called this three girls, OK? You've got Holly and you've got Amber and you've, and you've, and you've, got, um, Ruby. you've got Ruby. But what we have to remember is it's three girls you'll probably realise it's probably 2,300 girls. That they, that they know that of. That they know and of. And so then there's a whole Good. other... Yeah. Uh, mm. Dozens and dozens or hundreds we don't yeah. know that wouldn't have told anyone. Absolutely. And it's still happening in all of these it's places. Still going, and you'd yeah. heard the rumour about this before you actually made the film, didn't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. So, um, obviously, I'm from Manchester, born and bred in Bury, and obviously Rochdale is 11 miles from my home. Mm. And I remember the period of time completely. We'd wake up the morning news, it'd be there, and all the, you know, the reporters were, were everywhere. But I remember distinctly, you know, like when I was younger and in, you know, girl guides and growing up as a teenager at high school, 
school that I was told, you know, never get in a taxi by yourself, you know, um, and to be aware. And we would always, me and all my girlfriends, would clump together for safety, you know, and, and that's obviously a, a hard thing to think about, you know, and I'm not brand, branding anyone, I'm not labelling anything. It's where I lived in the North. And as you'll see in tonight's episode, I think which will touch people so deeply tonight is the amount of areas it's going on. And you probably don't even know, no. you know, mm -hmm. you probably, and the, the fact that it's given that voice and you'll see tonight where it's going on. You know, it's, it is, it's on our doorsteps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we, we spoke this morning and, you know, it's the fact that where do we go from here? How yeah, do we how, give advice? Well, you, you're in contact with these girls. How, yeah. how are they? Um, are you able to say? I just want the girls to stay safe. They, yeah. They've seen it. They're over the moon with, with how it's been portrayed. They, yeah. It's their story. They heard, hopefully they feel yeah, heard. They exactly. do. They feel, yeah. And they feel that justice has been done. And for us. Yeah. 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 Yeah.